<laughs> We're still getting set up. <laughs> Congratulations on the win. Uh, it looked like you had a lot of fun in there. It seemed like there wasn't really much pressure heading in there. Is that how you sort of felt in the matchup? Uh, yeah, you know, I was just trying to uh, you know enjoy the moment as much as I could. Um, I don't know if you watched the fight. Uh, you can see that Terry and I were kind of jawing back and forth at each other a lot of the fight. He'd hit me. I'd tell him, uh, you know, he hit like a girl. He, <laughs> I'd hit him. He'd, you know, blow a kiss to me. So it was, uh, it was honestly, uh, it was a fun fight. Um, great opponent and uh, yeah you know I, I try not to let the pressure get to me it's just another day this is what I do uh, I try not to uh, you know put it up on too much of a pedestal to where it you know it adds a lot of uh, extra pressure I kind of just went in there knowing that I've been here before and just got to go out and do whatever whatever it takes to win was there animosity there or uh, were you guys just you know engaging in some gamesmanship I mean yeah we were we were we were fighting each other so definitely I mean uh, you know I was trying to take his head off and he was going to do the same to me um, but no, as far as bad blood, no, there's no, uh, there's no bad blood, nothing, nothing uh, outside of, uh, you know, the sport of MMA. Um, as far as the, you know, the fight itself, the takedown seemed to really be the difference in the fight. Um, was that sort of the focus going in, is, you know, knowing that you could out-wrestle him? Yeah, you know, I, I knew 100% that I could out-wrestle him and that, you know, I can out-wrestle almost anybody at the Bantamweight division. Uh, I'm just a lot bigger and stronger and uh, more explosive than these guys are. So, you know, pretty much anybody at 135 pounds I can take from their feet to their head in a second flat, uh, you know, and that, that's going to be the case a lot of these next UFC fights for me. Uh, you know, anytime I get in trouble on my feet, I always have that option. If I hit you, like, you're, you're going to fall. Um, so, yeah, and that, that, was, uh, that was a little bit of the game plan. You know, I'd like to have been on my feet more and, 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 uh, and hit a little bit more, um, but uh, for whatever reason, you know, every time he, the guy, he was really, really long, you know, I was reaching for him. I wasn't hitting him, and then I could see, you know, he was getting ready to wind up on a combination, and the takedown was just always there. So, you know, I took what was there and uh, did what I had to do to win. You actually outstruck him uh, at a higher percentage. You had uh, eight of twelve takedown success, successful takedowns. How would you uh, rate your performance from uh, like scale one to ten? Uh, you know, scale one to ten, uh, being on seven days' notice, you know, coming off the couch. Uh, you know, I really eight days ago I was enjoying my summer, uh, you know, doing whatever the hell I wanted. I really wasn't in a training camp. You know, I'm always in shape. I'm always, you know, going to the gym. But it's a lot different when you're getting ready for a fight. You're, you're, you're focused. I mean, and there's like, a, there's like a tunnel vision. All you're doing is training. You know, it's a different grind. Uh, you know, I was working out once a day. Uh, you know, working my day job, not really taking MMA as serious as I thought. You know, honestly, I thought I was going to be in the, on the UFC card in December, so I was kind of taking the summer off and just relaxing. Uh, so, you know, my performance, I would say, I would give myself a seven or an eight. You know, being that it was on, uh, you know, eight days notice, I was actually talking to Sean Shelby in between rounds. I turned, I was on the bench, I turned and looked at him, I was like, come on, seven days, Sean, I'm, I'm 14 to one. <laughs> Can't you give me eight weeks, you know? Yeah. And uh, he laughed, I laughed, and after the, after, the, after the fight again, I said, I said, eight weeks, next time, eight weeks. I said, promise me right now, eight weeks. And uh, he's like, okay, eight weeks. And uh, so hopefully, you know, I'm gonna get eight weeks next time, and then, you know, we can have this, uh, this conversation again, and I think that my performance will be a, be a 10. Who do you want to welcome you to the uh, bantamweight division in the UFC? Who would you like to fight? Ooh, next? anybody. I don't yeah. care. You know, anybody. I'll fight anybody. Uh, you know, ideally, for me, coming into the UFC, it was like I was either going to fight a guy like Terry Ware, who was also making his debut, or I was going to fight a guy that's in, like, the top ten. You know what I mean? Those are, the, those are the two things that, in my head, I really wanted to do. And I did get one of them. I did get a guy, another debut guy in Terry Ware. Um, and I'm really happy that, you know, I got this opportunity. Uh, but, you know, my next fight, I either want, I want a name or I want another guy that just just had one fight, you know what I mean? So I don't want, you know, the really, really tough guy that's on the cusp of everyone knowing who he is. I want the guy that's on my level, or I want someone in the top 10. Cody, you said a minute ago that you have a part-time job, or a day job even, what, what is that? So uh, I, uh, I work for a family restoration business, and uh, in the summertime, we're always really, really busy. Uh, so, you know, I, I tend to 
I'll spend a few days in Grand Rapids, then I'll go home and I'll go home back to my house in, in uh, Metro Detroit and train. Um, and it just so happened that <clears throat> for two weeks before I got this phone call, all I was doing was working basically, uh, working and uh, you know doing enjoying my summer. And then you know, of course, you know I'm at the I'm on the job, and then my manager calls me and says, "Hey, <laughs> you're fighting the UFC next weekend." I was like, "Oh shit, Are you serious? Okay, uh, all right, love." Well, I was gonna start doing medicals right now. I'm, gonna, I'm headed to the gym, and uh, you know, eight days later, here I am talking to you guys. Is it back to work on Monday? No, 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 no. I think I think I earned a vacation. Uh, like I said, I work for my family, so you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk into the stands here in a little bit, and I'm gonna shake my dad, give him a big kiss, and tell him I quit. <laughs> <laughs> And the plan is to fight on that Michigan card that's coming up. Right yeah, this December. Year. Um, just you know, you've sort of been the face of Michigan MMA as far as the regional scene goes. What yeah. what can people expect? You know, for that card and the turnout. Like, it's a very big MMA scene. You know, I'd like to see all the Michigan guys that are on the on the border. I'd like to see all those guys, you know, on that card. You know, I have nothing but love for everyone in Michigan. You know, Michigan MMA. I want to see Michigan guys do good. So I'd like to see as many local guys as possible on that card. You know, there's a lot of us now. There's a lot of guys in Michigan that are that are popping up in the UFC, and it's just this year too. You know, uh, there's four or five people from Michigan now that are in the UFC, and you know I think there's going to be a lot more because uh, you know Darren Kirkshank and everyone at Michigan Top Team, we're we're breeding killers. There's a lot of tough guys coming up. When you only have eight days notice, what what do you put the focus on? I mean, there's only so much you can do with your body in eight days. So what well, is it that you actually try to do? It's I mean mainly it was just uh, I was just focusing on sharpening up tools I already know I have. You know what I mean? I wasn't like out wasn't like in eight days I was going to dissect everything, turn where it does, and come up with this new freaky style of fighting and uh, you know go out there and implement it in the cage eight days later you know I, I fought in April April 29th so it was basically just you know build from you know what I already know I can do and what I do well and practice those things for the next eight days you know consistently every day make sure my weight's good and go out there uh, have fun and, and beat someone up. Were you being um, serious? Are you quitting your job and training full-time? Uh, you know, I basically already do train full-time, but it just so happened that uh, before I got this phone call, I, uh, I, have, I was working a lot more than I was training. There was just a couple of jobs that were really big and had to get, had to get completed, and uh, I, was, I was helping a lot more, but I pretty much do train full-time. I would say I train 10 out of 12 months full-time um, and work full-time two months of the year, so my situation uh, has already been like ideal for you know training for MMA. So, uh, like when I tell my dad I quit, I mean I've told him it before too. So, <laughs> <laughs> with an experienced guy like Crookshank in your corner, what did he tell you to kind of prepare you for this debut? To to prepare you for the the lights and, and the sounds and everything about it. He was just basically telling me to just suck it all, you know, take it all in, you know, because it happens fast and it really does, you know. Like this whole week flew by, absolutely, absolutely flew by. Um, yeah, just take it all in, enjoy it, you know, enjoy the moment, enjoy being here, enjoy, you know, the fruits of all your hard work. And he was, you know, because, you know, he's been here, he's done it. Uh, I've seen him do it, you know, and I've, I've, I've seen, you know, how fast everything happens and how fast, you know, you can climb and fall in this sport. So really, you just got to, you know, you got to get with your the people that you really care about, the core people that have been there from the beginning and, you know, celebrate and enjoy this with them. You know, try not to get too high or low and just uh, keep getting better and, and hopefully keep climbing that ladder. Congrats. Thank you. Cool. Thank you, guys. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Many more to come.